Okay, today's video is going to be all about the most important, hands down, the most important thing in snowboarding. And what that is, is your body position, your stance. So let's just get right into it, then I'll show you my thoughts on snowboard stance and positioning. Cheers. So I try and adjust my board. Yeah! If you're gonna watch any of my snowboard videos, I highly recommend watching a powder one and then coming back to this one um, as a little refresher or if you're new to the sport. And what we're gonna go over is that snowboard stance and it's by far the most important thing you're ever gonna do on your snowboard. And what we wanna think about is where our body is on top of that board and how our feet are positioned on that board to get the most out of our stance. So the basics of a stance are gonna come down to a few little parts. And what that is, is just like when you're standing up normally, we're gonna have a slight knee bend to absorb some of those bumps. Our back's nice and straight. Just like when I'm standing here, that back is super nice and straight. If I'm too far forward or back, that throws me off, right? It throws off my balance. It does the same thing on a snowboard. Keep that back straight, knees slightly bent. Keep your hands out. It's gonna give you a little more balance when you're on that board, forward and back and keeping your head up. This is something that'll take time. If you're a beginner snowboarder, you're gonna to wanna to look down, you're gonna to wanna to see those edges, and that's normal. But as soon as you can, you wanna keep that in the back of your mind, is keeping that head up once you get comfortable with those edges. If you are gonna look down, it's not a look down like this. It's more of just a glance down once in a while to make sure your feet are in position, your edges are doing what you want them to do and that kind of thing. So go over that quickly again, proper stance, knees bent, back straight, hands out, head up, looking where we want to go. So in the second part of the video, I want to go over some common mistakes you see in real beginners or people that have developed some bad habits. Maybe they haven't ever had a snowboard lesson and these are some of the habits I really see with the stance. And what that is, is straight legs. They'll straighten their legs because maybe they've gotten comfortable on the board and they're not in very difficult terrain. So they straighten their legs, but once you hit a bump, you can't absorb it very well. So keeping those knees slightly bent, even a little more, very, very good in the stance. The other thing is they'll tilt their knees in. I've made a video about this a little bit. I'll post it here, but they'll bring their knees in and it's kind of that same thing where they want to get back to that nice standing position. But in snowboarding, your feet are already out. You don't want to bring your knees in. You want to kind of pretend there's an exercise ball right between your knees and that'll keep your knees bent out and nice and good. The next thing people always tend to do, especially at the beginning when they're learning side slipping, is they want to, like I said before, they want to look over, they want to look at their edges. So they bend at the hip and when you're bending at the hip you're throwing your balance way off and if you're down the road we'll talk about it but once you're snowboarding and you're bent over it really really hinders your turning ability so first mistake people make knees straight second mistake i see all the time bent over at the hips you want to keep that back nice and straight right on top of your board always between your feet all right, so last thing I want to cover in this video is I just want to do a quick trick for setting up your board. I'm going to do a more in-depth video on setting up your board. Uh, I'll link it down below once I do it. A lot of people don't know how to set up their board, and I think the best way that I've never been taught, but it works really well for me, um, and it's changed over the years given <laughs> my lack of flexibility now compared to when I was younger. And the trick I like to do is I'll actually jump and land and I will get my feet as wide as it can while doing a proper jump squat. And I'll do like three or four jumps in a row and when I land that last jump, I'm going to mark where my feet are. I'm gonna take note of how my foot angle is and that's kind of the width you want to have for a snowboard. So for me, I'm, I'm six foot. My snowboard stance is generally between 58 centimeters center to center in powder to like today's kind of a crusty-ish day on the slope so i've actually got it out to 60. and just those two centimeters makes a world of difference on the board and when getting in your stance everybody's different some people nowadays i see with very close stances and 
that's good for them. I don't have any ACLs left, so that's not a stance that works for me. Um, and too wide is clearly not going to work well either. I used to have a wide stance, like a 62, and I had to get so low all the time. It just wasn't super comfortable, but it was helpful when I was landing jumps and rails and boxes because you have this nice wide platform, you're a little lower, and it works better that way. So there's mix and match. Uh, snowboards are different too, but that's kind of it. Okay, so summary of the snowboard stance. This is what I want to really get across to you guys. Make sure you understand this is by far the most important thing on a snowboard. So what we want is we want feet apart, knees nice bent, back straight, right between our feet. So even when I'm twisting and turning, I'm doing everything I can to keep that core of my body upright and on top of the board. And hands out for balance. Um, you don't want to be doing this, just hands out for balance. And we want to look where we're going. If we are looking down to see where our edges are or something like that, we are looking down and we are just glancing and coming back up. We're not looking, hinging at our hips. We're looking as a glance and moving forward. And that's it. I'm going to come back to this a ton in future lessons because it's so important. Um, and if you get this right in the beginning steps, it makes everything else moving forward so much easier.